Kim. Welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today I want to discuss this wonderful book right here, The Girl on the Train. This is actually one of the books that was a bestseller in 2015. I recently picked it up and it was a page turner for me. It is a little over 300 pages. It is by Paula Hawkins. Um, this is actually her first book. She did an awesome job, an awesome job. She did an awesome job. I really, really loved it. Of course, it has five out of five stars on my favorite site, Amazon. <laughs> it is definitely a must read. It is the type of book that is a page turner. It is a book that sucks you in. It draws you in as soon as you start reading it and it keeps you wanting more. Now, some people actually complained about the style of writing, which um, she actually goes back and forth be between present and past tense. I actually truly enjoyed it. It was not hard for me to follow at all. Um, the actual complaint was not that it was hard for them to follow. It was just that they were not used to that style of writing. I absolutely loved it. It was not hard for me to follow at all. I thought it was a book that made you open up your eyes and think about some of the issues that we hold in um, on our own and actually deal with them so they do not take over our life and become our life and it actually becomes something bad or makes us um, unreliable people. So what is what is Girl on the Train actually about? Without telling you the entire story, I'll just tell you that Rachel is the very main character who actually rides the um, train every single day going towards London. So one day on her train ride, she actually sees something that she's not supposed to see um, between these two people that she actually, um, <laughs> she actually names these people and she actually thinks up a story about who they are because she sees them every single day. So she witnesses something that, she not, that she's not supposed to see. Rachel is actually deeply disturbed. She's actually deeply disturbed due to her not dealing with the life that she's dealt, that she was dealt. So she, 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 like many people, she tries to drown her sorrows by hitting that bottle. <laughs> she tries to drown her sorrows by hitting her bottle. And the reason why that is actually significant is because now she has these blackouts. She has these blackouts and she has no idea if she actually witnessed the crime, if she was a part of the crime, or if she was, um, um, if she actually committed the crime herself. So she just has to work on her. And actually, um, it was a mystery because I actually thought that I knew what was happening and who was doing what. <laughs> and I actually missed the mark twice on my third try is when I got the mark right so uh but it was still almost at like the last 50 maybe 60 pages of the book is when I finally got it right and then I I obviously had to continue to read to see was I right so um but it makes it made me change my mind a couple times it made me think about a couple things but truly enjoyed this book truly enjoyed this book you guys will love this book for for this to be her first um first novel she did an excellent job. She's actually going, it might be harder for her to <laughs> make her second book a bestseller because a lot of times we put our all into the very first. Now, that's just my own opinion. She might do very well. But um, anyway, so Paula Hawkins, I'm reading about the author. So Paula Hawkins worked as a journalist for 15 years before turning her hand to fiction. She lives in London and this is her first thriller. So this, this is actually a really great book. You guys, especially, um, the guys that are really, really, really into reading my avid readers, you will love this book as a page turner. Go ahead and pick it up. The very last thing is I want to, for all my natural chicas out there, this shirt was actually by, um, one of my people. So go ahead and check out their website um, and follow them on social media. And the name is Beautiful Monster um, on um, Instagram. It's Beautiful Monster 350. And um, I will put the link to the store in the description box below. They have t-shirts and tote bags and mugs and um, sweatshirts. And they're actually 
opening up a men's line. So if you are a natural chica and you are loving my shirt, it actually says um, board versus brown. I'm sorry, brown. <laughs> it actually says brown versus board of education with a lot of uh, books on it. So this is actually relevant because I actually study. I love books. So anyway, go ahead and support black owned business. Do what we do. I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salute. Or is that four finger? Ah, anyway, later.